Today is a windy, chilly December 6, 2020, looking out over the Great Peconic Bay from Three Mile Harbor, north of East Hampton. And the uh, water is very rough today. This is my wife's summer employment uh, location. We're family out here. Nice place to be in the summer, but not very nice in the winter, but the views are spectacular. We're now further east at the Napeague Meadow Road crossing between Amagansett and Montauk. We're a little ways west of Hither Hills State Park, which you can see in the distance on the left. <laughs> you feel every blast of winter at this location. Whoa. That hilly area you can see on the horizon is part of Hither Hills State Park, one of Long Island's largest parks, and probably one of the most remote. Waiting for train 8704 from Jamaica to Montauk. Should be by in the next 10 minutes or so. Believe it or not, this is my favorite time to come out to this part of Long Island. It's virtually deserted. It's like the rural area that I grew up with. During the summer, it's like the sixth borough of New York City. 34. 8704 is approaching the crossing here. Hope to catch four different trains today in this section of the Montauk branch. And here comes 8704 at 1035, racing the wind. He better go pretty fast if he wants to do that. AC number 409 on the point with a nice K5 LLA horn. Love it. And you're looking at the mighty Atlantic Ocean We're by the Seacrest Lodge on Navajo Lane. Still a ways west of Montauk and just barely west of Hither Hill State Park. In the summer you come here, this place is packed. Today, I got it practically to myself. Rough seas. The seas usually are a lot rougher out here than they are further west on the island around Fire Island. The undertows are quite severe. As a child in the summer of 1963, I recall, we were at this beach and there was a hurricane out in the ocean, way offshore, and the waves are absolutely incredible. They were pretty close to breaching those dunes that I just showed you and they just would not allow anyone to swim because the undertow was just deadly. Right at this location, we're about 109 miles east of Long Island City. We're about 111, 112 miles east of Manhattan. Way out there. Shouldn't have any trouble getting a nice room here today. Nice vista of the ocean from Hither Hill State Park. That's old Montauk Highway down there. The new Montauk Highway goes through the park at a higher elevation. Beautiful view of the ocean. This Looking at Route 27, New York Route 27, Sunrise Highway. It's almost at its end. Another nine miles or so to the lighthouse. Lots of thick 
woods here into the hills. The railroad track is deep in the woods. There are access points where you could drive to, but I don't dare do that with my sister's car. And when you drive into Montauk Village from the west, it almost looks like you're going to drive right into the ocean. There it is, straight ahead. Road curves to the left and goes through Montauk Village. Well, here we are in the easternmost village on Long Island, Montauk. It was discovered in 1686. It used to be inhabited by the Montaukett Indian tribe. They had many skirmishes with the Narragansetts. This town is about 115 miles east of Long Island City, or 117 miles east of Manhattan. Main Street is New York Route 27. And there's transportation commerce here, in addition to the Hampton Jitney buses that come here from New York City. You have the Long Island Railroad Station, which is about a mile and a half to the north. Long Island Railroad reached here in 1898, and 50 years later than what was reached at Greenport on the Long Island's North Fork. You'll know Block Island. In the summertime, they run a ferry from the Montauk Marina to Block Island, which is in the state of Rhode Island. Montauk Point, where the famous lighthouse is, is five miles east of here. The lighthouse was built in 1792 and completed in 1796. Believe it or not, Montauk has a skyscraper, if you want to call it that. This is the tower, is what it was called, the tower. It was built in 1926. It was meant to house offices, but it was never used as such. But during World War II, it was used as a residence for U.S. Navy officers. Today, it is now a residence. Just a short walk from Montauk Village is the ocean. There are numerous ocean lodges here. This area I'm hanging out at is by the Royal Atlantic Lodge. Whereas most of the towns in the Hamptons are mainly for the upscale, Montauk is more of a tourist destination with its numerous lodges and restaurants. The population swells considerably during a normal summer, which hopefully we will have in 2021. This is the site of one of the biggest St. Patrick's Day parades in New York State. They say it's the second biggest in New York State. I find that kind of hard to believe, but I've seen it. It goes on and on and on and on. And here's a cozy, popular tavern that's been an institution in this town for many years. Good food and spirits bring a lot of money. And we're now at the Long Island Railroad Station in Montauk. You're looking at the old depot. This is the third depot that was built for the railroad here. This was built in 1942. The railroad reached Montauk in 1895. I've read 1898 in some historical publications, but in any case, Montauk was reached more than 50 years after Greenport was reached on the North Shore. This is the end of the line on the Long Island Railroad. Well, this is the absolute east end of the Long Island Railroad although there were a few engineers that tried to go further. In the road behind the bumper plaque, you can see some scrapes in the pavement. Those are from an engineer or two who tried to qualify east of Montauk. They wound up collecting unemployment checks. As you can see, they qualified all the way across the street east of Montauk. Not quite for a couple of employees. And here's the equipment from 8704 that came in just before 11. We'll be going back out to Jamaica later today. Back in the days before push-pull trains ran out here, and they ran locomotive power trains and they had to run around their trains here, we 
when you had one of those really long parlor car trains on a Friday night arrive with like 15 plus cars, sometimes had two or three engines that have to make a reverse move. They pull down, go past here, the depot building, up to the bumper block. Not a hell of a lot of room to make a reverse move, so it had to be done with tender loving care. And there's the uh, railroad yard office here in Montauk. Years ago, when they were still running non-push-pull trains, and they had to do an awful lot of locomotive shuffling here, with all those summer Montauk trains that come out here, on Sundays, they had a hostler that worked an eight-hour shift here. This is the current high-level platform station that's here at Montauk. It was built in the late 90s. As you can see, it's not terribly long. The low platform it replaced was almost twice as long. It held a lot of those really long summertime Montauk trains. Now we're just west of Montauk Station. <clears throat> You're looking at a rather angry Fort Pond Bay. The wind is really blowing. the shore road crossing just west of Montauk station and as you can see the street is well named had a bad storm on Long Island here yesterday and the car had to do sort of a impersonation of an amphibious vehicle to get here but it wasn't too deep thank goodness and at 1246 approaching Montauk is train 8706 it's doing here at 1253 slowing down for the yard limit here Montauk Manor Resort Hotel, built in 1926. It's a very prominent position on the hilltops overlooking the Long Island Railroad Station. And from the manor grounds, you get this superb view of the Montauk Railroad layout, with Fort Pond Bay dominating the background. Montauk Point Lighthouse, completed in 1796, and if you want to drive any further east than here, you really would need an amphibious vehicle. Not sure you can see it too clearly, but that strip of land dead ahead, about 12-15 miles east, is Block Island. That's in the state of Rhode Island. Block Island is a great summer destination, good for hiking, biking, lots of restaurants, great destination. Well, when they talk about Montauk Point, the end, they're not getting it. That's it. Long Island has expired. Looking straight into the Atlantic Ocean. Heading east out towards Block Island, northeast towards the Rhode Island coastline. You 
Long Island's tip right here, furthest point to go east on Long Island. This place brings back 1974 memories of Mary Michalak, my first love. Oh boy. Driving back into Montauk Village from Montauk Lighthouse, that light colored uh, line you see above the roof of the buildings ahead, that's the ocean. Now we're further west of Montauk at the Naphague Harbor Road Crossing, waiting for eastbound train 8710. Should be going by here in about 10 minutes or so. And the gates are going down at 335, approaching as 8710 from Jamaica to Montauk. He's due there at 2.53 p.m. It's been a beautiful day today, but cold and breezy. If you bundle up, it's tolerable. <laughs> And that train is entering Hither Hill State Park. And we're back out at Napeg Meadow Road again. In time to catch train 8709 en route from Montauk to Jamaica. Time is 3.45 p.m. This is the last daylight train we'll see. And I want to tell you, on a day like today, this is just a wonderful place to get a westbound. And here he comes. Out on this end of the island, you have uh, three eastbound trains in daylight, and those three trains return in the late afternoon and evening. Like I said, this will be the last train I'll be able to see in daylight this time of the year. But the lighting at this location and on a sunny afternoon is just terrific. And we've got a cab car leading on this train. About eight minutes he'll be arriving at Amagansett. The track between Amagansett and Montauk is the longest distance between any two stations on the entire railroad. 11 miles roughly. We close this beautiful day with some Christmas cheer in East Hampton Village.